In Gaza, literally, it's going to be uninhabitable in a few years. Uh, the World Bank and other international organizations have warned that within a few years, maybe as early as 2020, uh, the Strip will just be uninhabitable. Mm -hmm. The West Bank, uh, the goal is basically to have the Palestinians leave. Uh, the, some may remain, Israel will take what it wants, ultimately it will be integrated, it is being integrated into Israel as a kind of a greater Israel. And the US supports it, so sure. it goes on. And the idea is to take over whatever is of value in the West Bank. Uh, Gaza we could talk about, but since the idea is since 2005, which is official incidentally, is to keep Gaza what's called on a diet. That was the Israeli official, Doe Weissglas, who uh, organized the withdrawal of the Israeli army, said we'll keep them on a diet, not too little food so they all starve, that won't look nice, but not enough to survive in any decent way. The purpose of the withdrawal, he said, is to ensure that there will never be any discussion of a Palestinian so state. It'll freeze it. It puts it in formaldehyde, it's, he said, very explicit. Mm -hmm. So Gaza, you just keep barely surviving. It's a it's a kind of a punching bag. Anytime you want, you launch an attack and you know, massacre people and so on. It's called defense, of course. Mm -hmm. In the West Bank, take over what you like. Uh, we, the contours are very clear. Uh, so what's called Jerusalem is now about five times the size of anything that was ever historic Jerusalem. It takes over large parts of big chunks of the West Bank, including many Palestinian villages. And meanwhile, I should say there's a huge infrastructure uh, project developed, which means uh, an Israeli or you or me, a visitor, can travel through the West Bank on superhighways and not know that there's a Palestinian. Or well, maybe we'll see a picturesque biblical scene of a shepherd with a goat somewhere up on a hill. But yeah. for the Palestinians, it means living in fairly isolated enclaves, often separated from their lands, uh, constant severe harassment. Uh, settlers, first of all, are just violent. They go in and kill people and so on. Uh, recently, Israeli soldiers uh, repeatedly they murder some Palestinian on some pretext, uh, break into houses at midnight to take somebody out for interrogation, often a teenage kid, and, uh, constant or checkpoints all over the place. You never know where they're going to be. So you live under constant harassment.